15. Rofi ignition. 10. The igniters have been lit. 9, 8, 7, 6. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And liftoff at dawn. The dawn of Orion and a new era of American space exploration. American space exploration? American? Capsule communicator or launch commentator or whatever you are, are you crazy? This is not real life dude, this is of course Kerbal Space Program. Yes, welcome back guys to another Mod Spotlight. It's been a while since I've done one of these episodes and so I decided to kick things back off again with a bang here with the launch and spotlight upon um, a rather interesting mod known as the Capsule Dine uh, Taurus Command Service Module um, part, I guess. <laughs> Oh, and just for the record, I know that was from the Orion launch, don't worry, I'm not completely stupid. Please don't shout at me in the comments, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. So what does this mod look to add into the game? Well, as I said, it adds in a new command capsule, which is 3.75 meter in size, along with a load of other 3.75 meter parts for you to take advantage of and use amazingly. Obviously, we start off with the Taurus 3.75 um, meter high capacity vehicle. It's called Seven Kerbals, and you can probably see it once the fairing of this uh, rocket jettisons, which it has. And uh, you can see this thing is gorgeous. And of course, on top of that, it has its own IVA, which you saw a little bit in the intro of, um, but I'm giving you a preview of in the corner of the screen right now. I'm going to give a little preview of all the different parts as uh, this mission to Minmus to test this thing uh, is going on in the background. So I'm going to give you a little preview of all the parts and everything and what have you. But you can see that it has its own IVA and its own launch abort system as well with four little solid rocket motors that sort of like pop out of nowhere like flaps and... Uh, and boost you clear of the rocket. On top of that, it has its own heat shield as well, which uh, comes hand in hand with it, which I found to be kind of a terrible heat shield, really. Maybe it's just because I've been coming in at uh, Kerbin at like insane velocities, but I've kind of found it to be rather, um, it, it's not very good. The ablator just seems to go away. I'm not sure if that's a bug because I know this mod is still very much a work in progress, but um, that might be a bug. It might not be. It depends on um, on my, my idiocy, I guess. On top of this, we also have some more awesome parts that come with this. On top of this, we have the eight-person pass eight passenger module with another custom IVA, as well as a science module with a custom IVA as well, which I'm giving you a look on here, which I think they look awesome. They, they're like sort of a squatter, more squat version of the science lab and the standard habitat, and they just kind of look a bit more modern and a bit more nice to be in. Um, personally, I think they look really, really cool. And on top of this, we also get a thin 3.75 meter a, a liquid fuel tank. It's a tiny little thing. It holds, holds just under a thousand um, units of liquid fuel and oxidizer. And this is, of course, to feed some of the new 3.75 meter engines that come with this mod. Now, on top of this, we have a um, orbital cluster engine, which is essentially four poodle engines um, strapped together, um, which is fully animated with gimbal and everything. Uh, it's sort of like a very squat sort of engine. I can see this being used for sort of third stages maybe on trips into deep space or like on very very heavy launch vehicles I can see it being used as a third stage or because of its short short profile I can probably see it being used as a lander engine as well because well you don't have much to get in the way of there because well it's a nice flat engine. The second engine that it adds in as well is a, um, a uh, 3.75 meter nuclear engine there we go I've got it out eventually. Now this is very very special indeed because it can it actually has two different types of engines on it. You can go for four smaller engines which resemble the um, I can't remember the name of them but they're like the little orange radial engines that you can get from Rockamax from the Rockamax brand. Um, it has four of those which goes for a higher ISP and a lower and a lower fuel consumption. 
um, but it has less overall thrust. And then we have a massive bell in the middle as well, a massive engine bell, which is basically the opposite of that. Both of these are nuclear engines though, so they only use liquid fuel. What's interesting about these as well though is that you can use them both together and that's how you'll see me using the engine later on in this video. It's rather it's rather cool actually and uh, I suggest you check it out because it is a very very cool engine indeed. On top of this we also have a large 3.75 meter ore container, an SAS module and a stack separator which is very very cool as well. Nice to see that we've actually got a, um, a set of parts that we can use um, to actually combine Combine all of these together. As it says, it is supposed to be a proper full-on service module, which is always nice to see. And with that part description that was really terribly laced together out the way, you can see we've now reached a uh, low, very low, Minmus orbit, and someone, Kerman, whose name I completely forget, is outside on EVA taking a look around at this new beautiful spacecraft, and uh, trying to get back in I guess and taking thumbnails at the same time we have this thing uh, relative to a Kerbal is absolutely huge you can see as he was trying to get in there so we're going to do some uh, tests of that nuclear engine there to get ready for our return to Kerbin you can see the two liquid fuel um, indicators there um, which are um, resonant for both the engines and so we're trying to plot our escape back to Kerbin so what I can show you guys one of my main problems with this mod for the most part, I absolutely love this thing and I'm going to be using it a lot in the future. In fact, I may even keep it in as part of um, a future Shamrock Dawn episode. However, for the, moment, um, for the moment, there is just one gripe that I have with it, and that's the heat shield. I know it's a very, very small gripe that I have with the heat shield, and that's that the ablator just seems to... It seems to go down a lot more than, um, say, the heat shields that are stock. Maybe this is just a placebo effect or it's me just being incompetent because the two re-entries I've tried with it so far have been coming back from deep space and from Minmus, which means you're carrying a lot of velocity as you're going into the atmosphere. But personally, I think it's kind of a soft, weak heat shield. I mean, don't get me wrong, we managed to land no problem. It just seems a little bit... Uh, Bit, bit strange and so that's the one thing I do think you need to be wary of with this mod as for the rest of it though my god it's just amazing like everything's really well textured everything's really well modeled I love the fact that it's now um, sort of a modern command capsule similar to how Orion is the stock Orion um, well, I say stock as if as if NASA uses stock parts for um, for, for, for their uh, command ca capsule or something but I just love the way that you can uh, you can use these things uh, to to actually um, to actually replicate NASA's um, new generation spacecraft. It is very very similar to the Orion in terms of its um, habitat and everything. Um, it is very it is very very similar. And I realised that I was coming down on the night side here, so I was trying to bring my apoapsis down. This turned out to be a mistake because of the Oberth effect that I completely forgot about here. And so I was trying to bring my apoapsis down and then I realised my fuel was getting very, very low. And so I had to use some of the uh, nuclear engine that I was using, some of its abilities to try and uh, save fuel. This involved turning off the very, very large engine here and trying to use the smaller engine, then turning them off and trying to use the big engine just to get ourselves down. But as you can see, we got literally to about 70,000, which was just my luck really. So I had to finish off the burn and get us inside the atmosphere using the RCS. Yes, at of course four times normal speed on time warp and then four times normal speed in post. But overall this mod is just amazing. I can't tell you how many times I'm going to be using it now. Um, it's probably going to be like these visual enhancements mods that I've been using. They're probably going to become basically start, um, part of my stock um, KSP from now on. You can see here we're now jettisoning the command module and the habitat module. Um, we now have all seven Kerbidorts, of course, back in. I did transfer in case you didn't see. And we're now going to be falling down towards the atmosphere where I can show you uh, just how fast the ablator from this, th this heat shield does actually go away. See, we've hit the atmosphere. We're descending. I decide to fire the launch abort system just to sort of kick us up, kick us a little bit sort of... Well, kill some of our velocity, really, for lack of a better word. We're starting to come through the atmosphere now, and you can already see the ablators going down abnormally fast, even for the speed we're coming in at. Um, this is where I start to get a little bit worried, because we're still 30 kilometers up, and we're still going a good 2 kilometers a second, um, and uh, our ablator's out. And uh, I'm really starting to get concerned as the, as the clouds come screaming by and everything. 
but we managed to slow down just enough, um, I believe, so that we can deploy our drogues and then deploy our main shoots, which of course I've popped on at the side. But yeah guys, this is a very, very awesome mod. I'm going to leave a link to the Kerbal, the, well I say Kerbal stuff, the Space Dock. Um, link to the mod in the description down below so you guys can check out for yourselves. We're bringing seven Kerbinauts, seven in a command co uh, capsule down into the ocean. Guys, my name is Bradders. Remember to like and subscribe for more and I'll see you in the next episode. I'm signing out as we zoom out with our epic zoom out shot and as always, peace out.